Let's talk septic lines. Whee! This is a fun, riveting topic right here. So exciting. Whee! Actually, it is pretty exciting. It would be nice to use them. <laughs> okay, what we're doing now is trying to lay out the lines of where those the field is going to go. From this point, we're going to basically have a line, draw a line on contour. So we're going to follow the curve of the of our hill to make sure that our trench is going to be perfectly level. Yes. Now whether or not I can dig it perfectly level is a better question. Now that you set up that height, <laughs> thank you. All you're doing now is trying to match that height along this row. And so what you're going for is a solid tone that tells you you're equal in height to that original flag we put down. It means I'm like dead spot on, which is way more accurate than we'll need. And the little de -de 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 tells you. Your, if it's beeping fast, I'm too low. If it's beeping slow, it's too high. And it's within, I think, just an inch means you're close. So once it starts beeping, you're pretty close. And every time you do that, I will spray paint yep. a little orange spot for you. And this will be your guide for digging. Yes. Okay. Our first line is marked with this marking paint. And this first one is 84 feet because we're hoping to get 20 chambers. 80 feet of chamber on this first row, and he is now setting up the second row because we will have to have two lines in order to get our full 154, 56 feet. 56. Yeah. As you can see, we do have a few trees here. These southern pine are kind of in our way, so we're going to be just cutting those down to make sure that they don't interfere with our leach field. We've got others. Ready? Yep. We laid out the second row. You can see the orange marks. And now he's just measuring the distance between the two lines that we're going to be doing. There's a minimum of six feet. And with our gradient differences, we figured we'd shoot for 10 in the hopes that, you know, as things get a little closer or farther based on the grade, we'll still have that six foot minimum. All right, I think our our layout is, is good for a starting point. Yeah. So what's next? Start digging. Start digging. Septic install work continues today. Yes, finish this. Finish, wow, that's pretty ambitious. It ain't happening, but. Well, I'm hopeful today that we will get the pipes that go in and out of the tank in which means what i need to drill a five inch hole all right so you're going to start with twice oh yeah oh. once you do that we will put the pipe over here and we'll see where exactly depth wise you need to dig and you've already set up your little excavator yep one and your foot bucket one foot bucket okay and then you're just going to do a straight line Straight down to our entrance for our leech field. Yes. Start in point. <laughs> Get your words out, Michelle. <laughs> Doing better than me. <laughs> What's that called? A hole saw. A hole saw? It was $15 at Harbor Freight and came with like 15 other hole saws sizes. I'll say that's a good deal once I see that it actually cuts. It will. <laughs> We have a hole. We have a hole. And okay, that was a good deal then. <laughs> hot plastic shards. Hmm. That's why you should wear pants. It's too hot. Oh, okay, yeah, and then the PVC pipe slides right into those. Yep. Makes it a solid seal. He is starting to dig the trench for the outlet pipe. We already set up the laser level to know exactly how far down he needs to go. 
so that it lines up with that outlet pipe down there from the tank. Now we dig and measure, dig and measure. These little skippers are not scared of you at all, and I think they like to get a little drink. Oh my gosh, this math. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what the slope is for you to dig because we realized that it has to be on a downward slope but we're on a hill that goes down so it's not like we can just do, do a little bit as long as it's lower on both ends it should be okay so we don't have to have this precise like i'm thinking but it's got to be we have we have i have a math brother and i'm gonna call him <laughs> for reinforcements and uh see if if our math makes sense to him you gonna use one of your lifelines to phone a friend <laughs> phone a friend okay while you finish digging i am gonna do some tree cutting with that yeah. it's our our new ego chainsaw, chainsaw. Figured we would work on cutting down these trees while we're waiting for our phone a friend to phone us back. Ah, here he is now. Okay, we got our marching orders, and that means we, our slope has to be a little under an inch and a half down every foot. Yes. And then we will end up perfectly 16 inches below ground at the end point. Yes. All right, you're the digger. Get to it. Yeah, I'm going to launch first. Oh. This is a break. This is a break. Now that we know what our drop has to be, we just have to get our 24 feet of line dug. Hopefully we'll get close enough. So you turned things off so that we could do a sanity check? Yes. Right? Because you're thinking we're too deep, potentially. I, I wasn't sure. This was a sanity check. Okay. And are we sane? I think we're sane. Well, no, <laughs> we're not sane. Yeah. But I think things are sound. Okay, so here's our trench so far. You can see at the end there, that's the pipe that we are starting from. It's going to head downhill at a slight slope. And it's going to end here, which is, this is the end cap for the first chamber, uh, you know, to start for the septic and this is where the pipe goes in yes and this is supposed to be 12 inches below the ground and it's a four inch pipe so we were shooting for 16 inches to the start of the bottom of the pipe yes and i think we're going to be close within an inch or two plus or minus one to three <laughs> one to three the rule still holds, I think. <laughs> Seems to keep holding. We're getting ready to start digging the three foot wide trench where the uh, septic tank, the septic lines are gonna go in. It has to be really level and the depth needs to be pretty consistent. So we thought a little bit of practice wouldn't hurt. Look how high up that tire is, and now he's going to drop it down. Here he goes. And he lifts 
up the stabilizer and now the whole thing is just on an angle. He moved the bucket over to the left side as a counterweight. <laughs> to get the hang of this. The last two rounds, the uh, testing the level has gone way faster, so I'm impressed. When you first start digging, boy that big backhoe bounces. I'm glad he's being cautious, going slow with these. Ooh wee! <laughs> making me nervous. He's positioning for the last portion of the dig for this top row to get us our 84 feet for this top one. So we are really close. The first trench is dug. And Brian is taking that backhoe to a much leveler, safer location <laughs> to park it overnight. Did you have fun on that backhoe? No. That was way too angled. I kept felt it kept feeling like I was gonna tip over. It kept looking like you were gonna tip over. Man. And it, it probably would go way more than that. I have no idea, but that was that was enough of an angle for me to Yeah. I'm Agreed. Good. Well, first one's done. One but, more one more like this tomorrow as no, well. No, this one's steeper. Yeah, I was afraid to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, okay, let's just take today's win. Okay. <laughs> and uh, regroup and come back tomorrow for some more. Yep. We're back for another day on the hill. Yep. Aside from cleaning out that top trench and maybe laying in the pipe, the, the chamber for that first one. Yep. We're going to take down the rest of these trees that are in the way of the second line. So I am gonna take this opportunity to practice using a chainsaw to cut down a tree with the little notch thing to see if I can get it to fall and all that. I figure it's a good way to practice on a small one like this. Yep. We'll start with this tree and make it fall. Just put the pine cone somewhere. I figured you probably wanna go with gravity. However, the wind has an effect, so you must hit. This is the first tree I ever cut down with a chainsaw. Guess what? What? I haven't. You haven't? You've never? Nope. Ooh, you could do the next one. <laughs> the pine cone is unscathed. <laughs> I missed it. Hey, it went in the general direction though, so I'm calling that a win. Good job. Thanks. Your turn. Okay. The final cut. which is on the other side, above his original cut. The wind is blowing now. <laughs> and nothing. Give it a push. That's cheating. It wants to go your way, so careful. Wow, that was really good. Thanks. It is right on the pine cone. Yeah. I'm good with that one. That was really good. Thanks. I gotta say, this chainsaw was actually kind of fun. We are back in our trench that we dug and now we're just going to do some finishing touches on it. We're gonna rake it, make sure everything is nice and level all the way across the trench and get it ready for the chamber. I like hearing beeps. I hear beeps everywhere. Wow. Oh. 
A little high? How about her? <laughs> I think we're allowed one inch. It's either one or two inches of two inch difference drop per 100 feet of line. So as long as we're beeping everywhere, we are within one inch. So I am very happy hearing beeps. We are finally ready to start putting in our septic system in the top channel. Hooray! Yay! We went with the Infiltrator Plus, 4 Plus, Standard, something like that. <laughs> uh, it's a 3 foot wide by 4 foot long um, chamber system that you that just kind of keeps attaching and it can turn and all kinds of fun stuff uh, nice and easy. Easy to install, gravelless. If you go with this system, you can do a 30% reduction because it's it just so cavernous <laughs> in the length of the line of the leach field lines yes yeah we learned about these when we took when we audited the septic installers class so this top row is 84 feet we need to use 20 of these four foot chambers on this top row and we'll put 19 in the second one yep let's get going okay. with the first 20. this chamber isn't really a pipe at all it's more just a half moon. Can you turn it around so people can see? You just hook them together. It's very holy. In a row. Water oh, can seep in through the sides, in or out. Okay. And it's pretty light plastic. It's, you know, it's, yep. it's not heavy. So you just hook it in to the prior one. And it's in. I like easy steps. We're looking for a nice level. Beeping all the way down. And so far it sounds good. First line of chamber is in. Yay. All 20 pieces. They're all perfect. Yeah, perfect. Now he's just cleaning up the trench for the PVC pipe that goes up to the tank itself. And we have to put the end cap on and then connect the two together. Is that next? I don't know. I'm with you. It's so hot today. Next up, we are going to dig the trench that connects this top chamber line to the second line that we're gonna be digging. Ryan's gonna do this with the skid steer and his little excavator and hopefully we'll get the slope correct. It is the end of the day. We have the chamber in for the first run and you dug the trench for the PVC pipe that will connect it to the second run. I think that is a good stopping point. Works for me. Yeah. More to come tomorrow. Can't wait. Stay tuned everyone because that's when the experts are gonna come in and dig the second row for us, I think. <laughs> that should be fun to watch. It's gonna be something, that's for sure. It's gonna be something. That'll do it for us for tonight. Thanks for watching. It's so hard for short people. It's only 42 inches tall, my love. was <laughs> push with your arms up it's too high <laughs> help me out <laughs> for something here it's not meant for people to go in yeah heed the warning people Yeah.